morning, good evening, good afternoon, whichever part of the day you're at, I hope you're having a very, very good one. Thank you so much for stopping along to my channel. My name is Miss Crystal, aka Christopher Thomas Nickel, and this is Miss Crystal's Drag School. On today's episode, what we're going to be focusing on, we are going to be focusing on wig washing. Yes, indeed. Now, this is something that is... Um, now, what we're going to be focusing on today is wig washing. Now, there are lots of tutorials on YouTube about this. There are queens that have told me how to do it. Um, so what I've done, as I say, I've picked all the kind of bits that I like from them all. Um, and I'm going to try it out. Um, so I've got a really, really ratty wig. It looks a bit like this. And I'm going to show you how it went from that into this. Okay, so uh, this is all about wig washing um, and we're going to do a whole other one on wig styling very, very soon. Um, so stay tuned and let's get the video underway. Okay, so here she is, this gorgeous creature. She has been through the mill many, many, many a times. She is dry, she is curly, she's got knots. Looking at her... You just want to cry, honestly. She's fabulous. Got her from Amazon, really cheap. So I've got a nice little wire brush there um, with nice strong bristles. And I've got a tangle teaser as well. Although, to be fair, I look like I just pissed her off rather than teased her. So what we're going to do is, just to start with, we're just going to separate the hair into different sections. Um, and we're going to brush through those sections, just trying to make it a little bit, getting some of those knots out, working it out, just so you can almost run your fingers through it. But looking at this girl here, that is going to be better said than done. So yeah, just literally go in with the tangle teaser and the wire brush and really just try and get as many of the knots out as you possibly can. Now, I'm obviously not going to sit here because this video would take ages. Um, if we were to sit and watch it all in real time. So as with anything, I'm going to speed this puppy up um, and get ready for her to be washed. So looking at her, you can kind of see that she is a little bit more smooth. Not a lot more smooth, but she is a little bit smoother. Um, so we're going to go downstairs now and we are going to start the washing process. So we're just filling up the water, um, filling up the water, filling up the basin, I think. Um, and we're just going to have a nice warm temperature with the tap. So not too hot because that will damage it and not too cold or else it ain't going to be clean. So you just want a nice warm temperature. Um, and we're just going to pop our little plug in. Beautiful. Um, we're just going to fill that up. Um, just have a little watch of me filling up my basin. I'm sure that's really, really exciting. Um, and then, as you can see, I've got my towel ready on the sideboard. Always prepared me. Always. That's it. So just making sure that it's nice and warm. Yes, carry on. This bit takes for ever but it's a good thing because it's one of those taps that you can actually just control the water you don't have to like mess around with the hot tap then the cold tap and the hot it just comes out as it is so anyway as you can see we're just going to turn them off now because you've heard enough i'm just going to use some alberto balsam coconut and lychee it smells amazing and you can use any kind of shampoo just give a good glug into the water there and you're just going to give it a little mix around with your hand shimmy 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 now what you're going to do is you're just going to take that um weave and just throw her right in there um you want to see the color of the water and i'm sure i zoom in in just a second but just make sure she's fully submerged in the water that's it, just dunk her in there, making sure she is all in that basin, nice and warm. Nice and warm? Yeah, you know what I mean. 
Yeah, see, told you I would zoom in a minute. So you can literally see that water is going a lovely gray color. That is because she has not been washed in some time and I'm a naughty queen for not doing that, but look at it. It is gross and that is literally sweat, blood and tears that are coming out of that wig. It's probably since 1995. I'm joking. I'm not that old so yeah just make sure that you really get all that um, shampoo into all of the fibers there and then just give her a nice little rinse if there are any areas that have got particular buildup of hairspray or product or just bits that are extremely nasty you can just go in directly with some shampoo in those areas um, which i do do in just a second um, on the lace front just to really bring up that lace, making it look even nicer. But look at the color of that water. That is gross. I am a nasty, nasty queen. I apologize. I can't even believe that I'm showing you this. So yeah, there we go. I'm just going to go along that lace front just with shampoo straight on it. And I'm just going to massage it in. Just getting all the bits of glue up, all the bits of hairspray, all the bits of foundation. Basically everything on there. Nasty, nasty, nasty. So once she is um, a little bit soaked for a while, you're just going to take her out, empty the water and just put normal water in this time. Still a little bit warm as so we're just going to rinse out all of those soap suds because you don't want to be a soapy queen. No, you don't. That is not a good look. So, yeah, just really we're going to just rinse out all of those that soap. Sometimes what I do as well, I just keep the tap on um, and I just rinse it under the tap. Um, just making sure that you really get all that, all the product out of there. And the water should run clear. Yes, it should run clear. So once that water is running clear, you can see that you can almost run your fingers through her. She is in so much better condition than she was before and she is feeling happy. She's had a little bit of a drink with the, the old shampoo making her clean. You're then just going to lay her out on a towel, fold it over and just start patting it down. You don't want to be rubbing it lots because that'll just mess her up even more and get even more tangled in there. So just give her a nice little pat down just to give her a little dry. And then once that's done, we're gonna pop her on a block again. There we have it. She is now on her block. She is loving life. Um, you might be wondering what the bit of tartan is along the front. That little bit of tartan is just to take some of the strain when you go to um, try to start steaming her. Because um, you're going to be pulling quite a bit on the wig and you don't want that pressure on the lace because it will just tear and then you'll have a horrible lace front. Um, so I've just put a little bit of fabric just along there just to really take some of that tension. But even looking at her from where she was, you can see a massive improvement on just the, the quality of the hair. It's got a little bit more of a shine to it as well, which is amazing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start the steaming process. Now this does take a while, but if you want her to look nice, you got to put in the time. That is something that I have discovered the hard way. There are no quick fixes around stuff. If you want her to look good, you need to put in the work. So just give her a little brush through just with a brush with metal um, 
what are they called? Prongs? Metal spikes? I don't know. I'm not a hairdresser. And you're just going to section off the hair. Now, there is a lot of hair in the wig that I have on this block. So it took forever. So we'll just section off the hair and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so the hair is pretty much sectioned off there. And what I'm doing now is I'm just going through the little strand that I've sectioned off with a bit of a tangle teaser and just seeing if there are any knots, I'm just brushing them out um, and just making sure that I can pretty much run my fingers through it as best I can. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna turn on our steamer. You can pick these up pretty much anywhere, just a normal fabric steamer. Um, this one I got for Christmas, so I can't even tell you how much it is. Um, but yeah, this one I got from Santa Claus because I was a very good boy, girl, drag queen. Um, and I got myself a lovely steamer and a gorgeous mannequin from Santa. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna, first of all, start at the, the normally the ends of the wig. Um, and just work in a downward stroke. Kind of keep brushing it, making sure you get that heat applied to each um, individual fiber. What I do is I take the brush on one side and the steamer on the other, because when you actually go to comb the hair, it disperses the heat throughout all the bristles of the brush um, and really gives an even coverage of the heat. Um, and you can see it already, like she is becoming gorgeous. Really, um, kind of showing that yeah I'm coming back to life here you love me there we go um, and you'll notice at the ends as well which you can't actually see in this video because I shot it so terribly um, but yeah the ends will look great too and um, then what you'll do is you'll just bring down another section of hair and just keep adding to it making sure that it is the whole time um, as straight as you possibly can I'm going to fast forward to the end and show you what she's like
And there we have it. As you can see, she is looking gorgeous. She's like been to the hair salon. She's had the split ends sorted. The ends are stunning and not as ratty. You can literally run your fingers straight through her hair. She is loving life. Um, so what you can do now, if you wanted to, um, you can follow one of my other tutorials and show how to curl it, style it, put rollers in it, or just pop on her head, just like I did sometimes um, on my Facebook channel, and um, wear her as she is, because she's gorgeous. Yeah, so that's it. So there we have it, folks. How one ratty wig went from this to this. Um, hopefully you have picked up a few handy hints along the way um, and if you have please do share it, tell all your friends, subscribe to my channel below um, and there is lots more coming your way soon. If there's something specific that you really want me to do then please comment on the links below. Um, comment on the links, that doesn't make sense. Comment below and um, I'll try and do it and um, that's all I can say. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, have a good day.